swag, bitch. Hey there, hey there, guys. So today we're here with the 2004 Dodge Dakota Visor. This is a Jeep Visor off of a Jeep Cherokee that somebody made. Well, the dude that I made it, I know personally, and he's a dumb mother humper. Okay, so I was like, you know what, you're selling this for only 50 bucks, even though they're worth four to 500 online for a Jeep Cherokee. I was like, you know what, you already cut it up, you already ruined it, so I might as well put it for my 2004 Dodge Coat. Now, it was three inches short, so I took two and a half from here, and I'm going to take a little bit off of here to get a straighter edge onto this, because he chopped this thing to all hell. So, all I'm doing is putting a straight edge on that, which I have my miter gauge on my table saw, and I have that taped up for now so I can put it up to my truck and make sure it's all the correct measurements. If it's short, oh well. So we're going to continue on this. Alright, so guys, I cut this down like four or five times just to get it to the right size. It looks small compared to the board. The original size was from like here to about to the end of this cap. That was the original size of it. So as you can see, I have everything pretty much lined up. I just have to do some final touches when I do the fiberglassing. Which I have everything cut out that I need cut out. When I fiberglass it, I will be putting clamps here, here, and here. To keep all three pieces aligned and evenly. On the outside face, I will have a little bit of an uneven bounce. But I'm going to bondo that. On this one, I will have a pretty straight bounce because this is his cut. This is my cut. As you can see, I've done some fiberglassing a little bit. Not by much. I am not a pro. I am just a jack of all trades. Not a master of none. Just know a little bit. All right, the only thing I will have to do is probably put some kind of weight or something right there just to make sure that goes down to get it all level. Make, I mean, I'm a little bit of OCD with this stuff, but most of this is pretty much going to be set in stone. This, I don't know what I'm doing with this yet, whether it's going to go back on the truck or I don't know if I'm going to cut that off and just, you know, say, F it and just have it go whoop, but you know, I got to... I gotta, I gotta do a lot with it, but I will be bondoing. I got clean services. All I have to do is make sure I wipe everything down with wax and tar remover, and then bondo all the stuff together, and then put clamps down. And then pretty much mix my resin up. It's a gonna be. I forget. It's a half of this, so it's like 12 ounces, 10 drops of the vial they give you for the fiberglass resin, which is made by Bondo. I'll tell you what, this fiberglass resin stuff is strong as hell. So we're going to do, be doing it the right way, not the wrong way with Bondo. We're going to be using resin, fiberglass resin. Just so if anybody knows, you don't put these together with Bondo. And what is this stuff called? Because he had the, um, you can see this grit right here. He had that stuff that goes on, um, what is it called? The plaster walls, uh, sheetrock, the sheetrock tape. He had sheetrock tape on this thing just to make it together. It was strong, but it, it broke in like three different places before he even took it off his Jeep. I was like, bro, you can't do that. You got to do fiberglass. He's like, yeah, da, 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 da. So, whatever. So, I just got some minor things to do, and then we're going to be getting into the painting process of this, which this is going to be looking nice. It's going to be the same color as my truck, which is a nice gray as you can see so yeah so yeah I got my sheets already cut out so I got I'm prepared I just have to measure this up one last time and then we'll be all set okay so this is after I fiberglassed it and put the mesh all down you can see I put a lot of mesh up in the corners of this of the um, cuts I clamped it down so it should be pretty decent um, other than that, I mean, it's pretty good. Right now I have to wait, uh, two and a half hours for it to dry because of the temperature outside and the temperature in here. Uh, in summertime, they tell you not to use it outside because of the temperature. It will heat up real fast and activate. Right now it's slowly activating, but it's not activating as quickly yet. The only way I can tell that it's activating is because of this in here. You can see it's getting a little bit hot in here, and the cup, you can see the um, the little little bubbles in there, so it's trying to cure, but yeah, 
so that's that's doing its thing. But so far, I had to cut this thing down four or five times just to get it to the proper measurement of my 2004 Dodge Dakota. I will have to modify it to put on the Dakota, but that's about it. Probably gonna cut these off because these are a pain in the ass because I can't bend them. But that's how much we just ended up taking off of the uh, Jeep visor. I know it looks like a lot, but it is a lot. Uh, there's a lot more exploded all over my soul table, but that's basically what it is. Um, so yeah, I'll just let that cure up and then we'll put it on some other day. But I'll be not showing this video until I have it on my truck. So yeah, alrighty guys. I will see you in the next clip. So I redid the fiberglassing. As you can see, I made it better. Um, apparently what happened was the mixture was not um, good enough. So it did not um, come together as well. So now it's totally dry. Not totally, but it'll take some time. It's only been about five minutes. It takes 12 minutes. To dry fully so right now it's just half dry um hopefully this time it's good because i found out my hardener went bad if hardener goes bad then pretty much you're screwed on all of it eh, a little bit of hardener on top of the surface but smooth that out Get that everywhere else. That should be good. That's just harder. Alright guys. So. This will be going on my truck in about maybe a week. Um. Have to just do some minor cosmetics to it. And we should be good. Alright. I'll see you guys in the video. So, we had to re-fiberglass it, redo it. Now, all that's all my seams and everything. I had to put extra um, contact on that because that was not bonding for some reason. So, I'll be priming it up right now with uh, Duplicolor. And you can see it's all going to be like a flat black. I think this is flat black. Yeah, flat black. So, should get a nice color out of it. And then from there, we'll go from there. And this is what it looks like after the first coat. It's a nice dark black, I like it. Covered everything pretty well. Just a few blemishes, but this is gonna be, it's, it's fill primer. So all I gotta do is take a thousand grit, or maybe even 500 grit, just go over top of it very lightly, and then get it ready for my actual color. Might have to do some finer touches here and there, but other than that, it looks pretty damn good as is. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you've made it, I appreciate it. This is my last video of 2021. I have been on YouTube for almost eight years now. This is kind of amazing for me. Um, You guys got me to 900 subscribers. You like all the videos I post. Some of the haters still go on, comment dumb stuff or whatever. Go for it. I don't have time. Um, I do appreciate everyone understanding that I was away because of work. And as you can tell, my voice and my eyes are all affected by work. Um, so, we'll be doing a little bit of um, more stuff in 2021. Uh, this will be the last video of 2021. So, let's move right on to talking about the visor. Now the visor, bought it from a buddy, he had it on his truck, then he had it on his Cherokee, and then it came to me for 50 bucks. So, in reality, I didn't lose no money, because if it doesn't work, it's oh well. Now, I'm hoping to make brackets for the visor and include the light bar that I have for it. Now, there will be a review on that light bar eventually sometime in the future, but that's besides the point. So the brackets, I'll be making two, like, L bars, L pieces, or, like, L brackets, maybe. I don't know yet. I'm still working on the bracket situation. 
Um, so far, I have done pretty much everything. Everything's pretty much prepped and ready, but I still have to get some two other projects prepped and ready to go in on the same day that I'm doing the visor. Now, uh, the fiberglassing. Mixing that up, I think it's, uh, for every ounce, it's supposed to be 10 drops of hardener. Uh, not too sure if that's the correct way. I think I said something that was the wrong way in the video. Um, can't really change it, so this is my end of my video to try and tell you guys. I am your average Joe. I don't do fiberglass every single day, so I wouldn't know. Um, so please, if you're doing fiberglassing, don't take me as an example. Just make sure you do it the right way, because cleaning something that you have to refiberglass is just nasty and also just a pain. It's such a pain to do it. I was agitated watching this video again because I had to clean that visor and I just had that memory in my pet. It's like, oh. So, you enjoy the new year, guys. I will have more videos for you coming out soon for my Dakota, the lawnmower, and hopefully something new. You guys enjoy your year. You make it the best year because we ain't here for a long time. We're here for a good time. And I will see you guys all in 2022.